You may be wondering why my ration blocks look like this. Well, it's a funny story. I was watching the mail lady put uh, put them in the mailbox. For some reason, they were packaged in a bag instead of a box. She she misses the mailbox, drops them on the ground. And I'm out here watching her do this. So I said, that's fine, that's fine. I, I, I can come pick them up, it's, it's not a big deal. And then she proceeds to run her Jeep over them. And, 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 I, and then she backs it up and, and then slips them back in the mailbox as if I wouldn't notice. But usually I would be upset, but in this case, she actually did us a favor because this is yet another stress test of these Daytrex ration blocks. Despite their horrible appearance, I don't believe these ration blocks have been compromised in any way. The packaging looks like it's all still in place. I don't see any pinholes. Uh, nothing has spilled out. No content leakage. So, uh, that's pretty impressive. This is very thick foil. These are Coast Guard approved to be used uh, uh, in lifeboats on the ocean. So, uh, they actually have to go through a tumble test before they're approved by the Coast Guard. So, these, uh, these are actually very sturdy. So, you can even run over them with your car and they will stay intact. So what we want to test here is how well these ration blocks will hold up in a hot trunk and uh, like in a car. So we have our two top picks here, the Daytrex uh, that's been slightly smushed by the mail lady. And we have uh, the SOS ration bars. And we're going to bake these at 200 degrees for eight hours because in our research, we found out that the trunk of a car on a hot day in a hot environment can get up to 200 degrees. So we're gonna see how well these hold up over the next eight hours. So I'm just gonna slide these in here. And then we're going to set a timer for eight hours. So catch up with you in eight hours. All right, eight hours have passed now, and these are the ones that have been cooking. These are the these are the control bars. Now, an interesting thing uh, I've noticed here: the Daytrex bar that's been cooking is still firm, just like this one is. Actually, <laughs> this one's the one's cooked is a little firmer than the one that hasn't, which is funny. But now, watch this. So this is the SOS bar that has not been cooked solid as a rock. This is the SOS bar that's cooked. Squishy, I can just put my fist in there. So <laughs> we're gonna let these cool for a minute, then we're gonna open them up and see what we have in here. All right, now we're gonna open uh, all of our packages here. So this is the Daytrex that has not been cooked. Ran over by the mail lady, but not cooked. Let's see how that looks. We have, Looks like our bars are mostly intact. This one's all squishy. Mm. All right, we're gonna open one up here. This one's kind of this one's uh, kind of crumbly, but it's still edible. Okay. Now we're gonna open the. Uh... <laughs> My son's very excited for him. We're gonna open the SOS ones. These have not been run over by a reindeer or anything else. Nummy. Here. Here. You want one? There you go. Enjoy. All right, now that I've bribed the toddler. All right, these, hmm, totally different shape, the SOS bars. Try to break one open here. All right, so we got here. So those are nice and crisp. Then again, they haven't been run over by a mail truck. So, you know, uh, give equal points there. Now we're gonna open, this is the Daytrex that has been cooked. Oh, no. oh, wow. 
I'm just gonna pull a few of these out here. And these, uh, ooh, they feel kind of slick. I wonder if some of that plastic has melted. Ooh, and ooh, boy, those are hot. All right. They look, if you compare it to one that hasn't cooked, they look a lot darker. So this is one that has been cooked, this is one that has been cooked, so that's a little darker. Let's see if it tastes any different. It's more solid. Let's see. It tastes like a well done cookie. Sure, here you go. All right, now this is one I'm a little afraid of. I'm afraid I'm gonna open this up and encounter lava. We're gonna I'll also give points to the day tracks because they have a perforation, uh, perforation, so I don't have to cut them open like this. It's good. It's good. Uh -huh. Now the children are clamoring for them, so that should tell you how sweet and tasty they are. Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> there. Now. Oh man. Look at this mess. Yeah. That one was stuck in there. Ew, and look at this. Can you see inside the bag? Mm. It's like kind of melted in there a bit. Man, no. Look, look at this. This is just total, just goop now. Brown. I'll compare the, this is one that hasn't been cooked. This is one that has been cooked. Uh, that's extremely greasy. I'm not... Got to bribe the children with some more of these. So there you have it. The day tracks held up much better than the SOS bars, even after being uh, run over. Oh, yeah. So uh, these kind of turned to goop. So if I had to go with one of these here, I would go with the day tracks. They hold up much better uh, despite being run over. 